Hi, welcome. I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about Xero and Xero inside of Universal Platform in terms of an extension inside Universal Platform. I'm at the Xero Development Center. Now, I'm not a developer myself, but I'm just having a look at the different API application types, and this can be a bit confusing, but suffice to say we're going to focus on the public application at this time, which is short-term access which means we're going to authorize Universal Platform to access Xero uh, for a set period of time while we just do some activity. There are other ways to do it, uh, and we'll talk about that in other future sessions. From Universal Platform's point of view, you would load the extension via the administration update by adding a package and then reviewing and applying it. I already have it installed. So the first thing we need to do is create a credential we're going to use with with Zero. So if we go through the process, Zero Auth is available to us there. After installing the extension, and I'm just going to call this Zero Credential. This is the username for Zero. Okay, and we're going to save. Once we've saved, you'll see that an authorize option has appeared. We can go through the process of authorizing. I'm already logged into Zero. There's my account that I've set up inside of Zero. So that's my accounting uh, company. Just going to authorize it. And we just grab this code, we can leave the web page, come back here and we just paste it in. Now we've got, I, I believe it's at least 30 minutes to uh, interface with the API before that expires. If it does expire, you can just reauthorize again. So that's it, we have a credential. Now in terms of using that credential, we create a connection to zero. And we're going to use public application like you saw over here and we can't see the credential we just need to save and then that will populate out so there's our zero credential and that is it you'll notice there's other attributes here that's for some of the other methods inside of zero private application and a more permanent access uh, to the Zero API, which we'll take you through in another another video. Now, in terms of activity, we can construct activity in a pipeline. So we can just say, "Well, this is my, my Zero. We just call it accounting. Okay. Just going to maximize that. Now, if we look over here. Hmm. Good old demos. Let's see what we've got here. Let's refresh that. Okay, zero extension hasn't loaded. Let's have a look at what's going on here. So here is zero. Oh, okay. My mistake. None of the methods are turned on. So always make sure that you turn the methods on that you need to support. And then when we go back to pipelines, we'll have those methods available to us. Otherwise, they're off by default. And now if we look, we'll have certain attributes. So if we just do get all records account, we can run that. And you'll notice we, we get output from, from zero. So I'm just using account for now. Now what we can do is we, we can do other activity in terms of the pipeline. Say for instance we want to get all records and we want to save it to a particular location, maybe even Dropbox or Amazon S3. We can do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a file system quickly, which is on the local machine. So it's physical to this machine. I'm just going to call this my documents. path 
is going to be e temp. We don't need a credential because we're on, on the actual machine itself. And then what we do is we just create a storage location which refers to that particular file system. So this would be my documents again. So this is the mount point. If you ever heard of people sort of talking in Linux, Linux talk, we're going to my documents, which is the file system. And once we have that, we can then open it and, and look inside it. So from a pipelining point of view, we can now go and extract files and save it to a particular location. Uh, wrong one. Zero. So now we're getting all records. Now, say for instance, we want to export that as a, say a CSV. Okay, we don't have the documents connector. Let's just add the documents connector. Documents, documents, save, and don't forget to turn on all the, the methods. There we go. Save and close. Go back to our pipeline. Write delimited. And what you want to do is we want to save it to storage. Save storage item. Okay, we're going to link them together. But what's important is this is just a flow of the activity. What we need to do is we need to bind certain attributes of the previous step into the next. So over here, what we'll do is we'll pass the result into the next node's data. And in this node, the output of write delimited, the file will be the file that is actually saved to storage. And from storage, we, we can choose Dropbox, S3, or My Documents, which I've created. Okay, so we're gonna use just the local file system for now. And last thing we're gonna do, we can also put a value in here in terms of a pipeline value we can pass into here, but right now we're just gonna call this zero underscore accounts dot CSV. Yeah, there we go. So if we just have a quick look at our storage, my documents, explore, you notice at the moment it's empty, we run this, it's executed, go look in storage, there it is there, and I can open it. And if we look at the actual uh, pipeline context itself, each of the steps will actually show the output of the actual uh, activity in that particular node. Thanks for listening and go have some fun.